Oh, so beautiful. These ugly flowers would just get out of the way. Ah, oh, hey, good morning, it's Josh. It's like seven in the morning, but I am here for the International Day Against Transphobia and Homophobia Breakfast. It's the 11th annual. This year they're focused on gay refugees. So it's a pretty serious thing, but I'm gonna bring some sass to the event as I always do and try to find some other sassy people too. Let's go. Hi, um, I'm here for the breakfast. You're here for the breakfast or you're here with an individual or group? I don't do either. What's your last name, darling? You don't know who I am? I'm Josh Reimer, you might have heard of me. Uh, I have a show called The Sassy Scoop. No idea who you are. So what can I expect at this event? Um, food. Yes. Great speeches. Okay. And lots of fabulous looking people. All right. Are you a volunteer? I am. I guess that because this is on your name tag. You're smart. And why did you decide to volunteer here? Um, so I could help out and make a difference in my community. Not just for the breakfast? Well, the food's a bonus. You can be honest. I won't tell anyone. I really just came for the food. Yes. <laughs> you got it on camera. Let's get out of here. So who are you? I'm Carol Delenko. And what are you doing here? Um, I don't know. I think I got off on the wrong floor, but there's lots of gays, so I'm staying. Okay, perfect. And there's food. And more so coffee. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Coffee. It's early. And also, there's something going on about fighting homophobia and transphobia. And that's important, too, I guess. Right. Yeah, well, you know, we have to stand up behind and beside our brothers and sisters, or if they're not defined as brothers or sisters, them. Yes. Us. People. We stand yes. behind people. Yeah. yeah. All people. So are you like me, and you basically just stayed up all night, or did you actually get some sleep? I was up very late and not feeling so good this morning hence wanting coffee well, coffee and a beautiful woman I'll take either or both okay. coffee with a beautiful woman well I might have some beautiful women viewers so do you want to emotionally available I'm cute I'm together come on <laughs> I'll take you if I if I wasn't already taken and gay or a man yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah that might work too yeah <laughs> what are you looking for uh, seriously Oh my god. I'm looking for somebody kind and funny, heartfelt, cultured, okay. bright, smart together, emotionally stable, solid, supportive, compassionate, empathetic. I think I know why you're single. <laughs> that person doesn't exist! I exist, so they have to exist. I want somebody who will compliment me and help me to grow that I can help them to grow. How's that? Oh god, it sounds so beautiful. I'm it going. is. Put Put that in your eHarmony bio. No. Plenty of fish bio? Yeah. No, I don't have one of those. Manhunt? I'm going to let you go have your coffee and your breakfast, but you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. There's no champagne in here. Who are you? My name is Dani Ramadan. I am originally Syrian, and uh, I used to be a gay refugee. Cool. Now you're just gay. Now I'm just gay, yes. Okay, <laughs> Welcome to the community. Yeah. Yay. So I needed to talk to you because you're wearing red shoes. Oh my God, yes, I am wearing with shoes. I noticed that your shoes are way nicer than mine, though. Oh, go yeah. on. Oh, come on. Oh, I will, I will. They, they <laughs> look awesome. I'm serious. They're like, you know, shiny and stuff. Well, I'm not sure if you're hitting on me, but I'm taken. Um, sadly, me too, but, oh. but I, I hit on everybody, so don't feel so special now. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Uh, I'm the keynote speaker, actually, in the event. I have a very long speech to present today. Thank you for the warning. Yeah, yeah, try, try not to fall asleep. Why is it important for people to know about gay refugee issues? They have so many challenges on the other side of the world. They face a lot of homophobia, transphobia, possibly uh, going to jail, possibly their family disowning them, sometimes torture, uh, outdated therapy. They escape all of that and come to the host communities. But that's not the end of the story. The end of the story actually starts when they feel like they're part of the new community because they have to spend so much time just integrating themselves and mixing themselves with the community and feeling that they belong because it's it's a feeling that I went through. It took me six months to feel that I belong here. And now, now you have matching shoes to a uh, celebrity. Oh my god, yes. I, I feel I feel blessed to have matching <laughs> shoes with you. You should. That's what I got out of that interview, is yeah. that you wanted to look like me. Yes, of course, yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Definitely. Well, I have met a lot of cool people, and I got my breakfast, and I got to learn about transphobia, homophobia, and gay refugees. If you want to learn more about that stuff, check out the links in the description below. And otherwise, if you're new to my videos, make sure you subscribe, because I'm going to have a viral video review on Tuesday.
Bye! So I'm gonna go up there so I can learn a bit. It's a very important cause, but also so I can have breakfast and so that I can go talk to people and, and meet someone interesting and new and, and, and then get distracted and ramble on. Because that's what I do.